So what would happen to all those people who work here at the Kennedy Space Center if, in fact, the Artemis program is canceled? You probably heard the president on Friday announced his budget, presenting it to Congress, saying that he wants to cancel Artemis, the Artemis moon missions, after Artemis 3. So that's as soon as 2027. Well, I think we got to look back a little bit. So remember in 2011, Actually, I was out here when Atlantis, the final shuttle, the final space shuttle came to a stop and some 7,000 people lost their jobs in the days after. Well, I spent lots of time in Titusville after that. It decimated this economy. The housing market fell off. Stores and shops dried up and went bankrupt. And a lot of people left. But remember, what's different this time? We got SpaceX launching a few times a week from the Kennedy Space Center here. We got Blue Origin just up the street, you can almost see it. It's that blue towering building. Both of those companies have invested billions of dollars here on the Space Coast, and they employ thousands of people. So yes, the thousands of people who work just on Artemis and the contractors here at the Space Center certainly would be very likely affected in two years if this program goes away. But NASA, the Kennedy Space Center, and the Space Coast are not entirely dependent on Artemis anymore. It's a new world. This full story, by the way, and the complete history of what happened after the space shuttle program and the position we're in now and also why Artemis is proposed being canceled billions of dollars over budget on ClickOrlando.com right now. Check out my story.